Now, let's say on your page, you want a rich text field. You want a rich text stream field. Because right now, all we have is actually, I'm going to get rid of two of these because they're not necessary. Uh, we have a title and we have text. That's great. But what if we wanted to give someone the ability to embed an image or a video or a document or a link or anything like that? At this point, they would have to go and write their own code and we have to make sure that it actually works in the template. Let's not do that. Let's let Wagtail do the heavy lifting for us. Here's what we're going to do is we're going to do this in two steps. We're going to create a rich text block and it's going to have all the bells and whistles that come default with the Wagtail editor called Drafttail. And then we're going to copy that and we're going to make a limited version where maybe only bold italics and links are accepted. And that is it. So first things first, let's go ahead and create our first rich text block. And it's not quite the same as a struct block, although it's not incredibly different either. So let's create a class here and let's call this rich text block blocks dot and you think it would be a struct block but it's actually not it's a rich text block and all we're saying is we need a rich text block to inherit from wagtails rich text block now there is actually a shortcut for this this is not technically necessary but i'm going to show you how we can edit this so it is a little bit more necessary than we think at the moment a uh, doc string rich text with all the features. And let's add meta. Nope, other way around. Class meta. No QA, please. Template is equal to streams rich text block dot HTML icon. I'm also going to use edit for this one because I like that icon. And I keep doing that. And Label, let's call this one full rich text, rich text. There we go. Good enough. So we have another stream field in there. It's not accessible yet. So we go into our models.py and all we do is we add one more tuple to our list. So let's call this one full rich text. The name here does not need to match anything. This is for Wagtail's internal reference only. And in here, this one has to match. So this one is rich text block. This title has to match this name. That's all it is. So you save all that, make sure you got a little comma in there. Let's add another comma in case we ever copy and paste again. And then you simply open up your terminal. Things look good, things look healthy. I'm going to save this as a draft because I want to keep editing it, but I also want to see my second option, full rich text, here it is. So now I've got bold italics, h2, h3, h4, ordered list, unordered list, horizontal rule, a line break. We have uh, an embed, we've got links, we've got documents, we've got images, undo and fast forward. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy this lorem ipsum and break this up into some pieces here so it looks like we have some paragraphs. Let's make something bold in here. Let's make something italic in here. And let's make this one a link. And we're gonna link to the homepage. Now, as expected, I'm going to publish this. I'm going to refresh a page and it's going to say, ah, 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 you're missing a template. Look at that. Ah, 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 I'm missing a template. So let's create a new template called rich text block inside of our streams directory. New file, rich text block.html. And in here, this one is super simple. We don't need to load anything additional. It's just self. And that is because that is because we're not saying structure this like a block. Now, if you're new to Wagtail, this is not going to really make sense. But essentially, we're saying skip all this structure in here and just give us the rich text editor. Just give us that. And anything that, that is in that rich text editor that is saved from that rich text editor is always referenced as self. That is it. So now we refresh our page. And look at that. So we have our first stream field up here. Welcome to Startup Life. We have our rich text in here. We have some italics in here. We have some bold in here. We even have a link that if we click it, goes back to our home page. Now that is rich text editor in a nutshell. Now I mentioned we're actually going to limit some of those features. So if we take a look at what it gives us in here, that was the H2, H3, all the lists and stuff. 
You notice how I only used bold italics and a link. I didn't need anything else. So let's create another rich text editor. And it's basically a clone of this. But the only thing we're going to do is say, ah, actually just limit these features. Now there are a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you a way. It's not the best way. It's not the worst way. It is a way. So I'm going to copy all of that. And this is going to be called a simple rich text block. And in here, rich text with out all the features. And let's put limited in there. So it makes a little bit more sense. Now, the only thing we need to do here is we need to overwrite the self dot features in there. Now I know that there is a self dot features. Can I open that? Yes, I can. So when I open this file in Wagtail, now if you're using VS Code, by the way, I just uh, on a Mac, I hit function F12. I, I think on Windows, it is control F12. So this opened up rich text block where you're looking at a field block and it has a bunch of stuff in here. And this is everything that goes into the rich text editor. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice because a lot of the stuff is taken care of for us. So there's this one property in here called self.features. We want to overwrite this. Now, this is not as difficult as it seems. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole thing over because I want to pass in exactly what Wagtail is looking for, but I don't necessarily need to edit any of it right away. So field options, I don't care about those. The editor, I don't care about those. That's if you want to switch out your editor from draft tail to something else which I would highly recommend not doing. And now we have self.features is equal to, and this is looking for none. I have it on good authority that this is actually just a list. So let's say bold, um, italic, and link. And maybe let's throw that up there so that that runs first. Super.init is basically just going to bubble up to this function or this class rather, and it's going to run init from this class. So basically run the default stuff and then override your self.features. Our rich text block, we could theoretically use a brand new template called simple rich text block or any other name that we want to give it. And it will be the exact same as the other one that we made, which was called rich text block. All it's going to have is curly bracket, curly bracket, self, curly bracket, curly bracket. Now that's not necessary because it's the exact same template. Nothing is changing in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the label and I'm going to change the icon to doc. Nope, 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 nope. That wouldn't make sense. We want doc full to be the big one. Doc full. And lastly, we add it to our page. So we do simple and simple rich text block. Check our terminal. Everything looks good, folks. Let's carry on. Save draft so that we can see our next one. And when I click this plus icon down here, we can see that we have title and text, full rich text, which has all the bells and whistles, and we also have simple rich text, which is now limited to bold, italic, and link. That is it. And in fact, let's do a copy and paste here. Publish, and just to make sure everything is working as expected, always hit up your page and everything looks normal. Now, the nice thing about the draft tail editor is that if anyone ever tried to get a little bit malicious and said, ooh, actually, I want to put some JavaScript in here so that I can so that I can do some cross site scripting. That's actually not going to work, because as soon as you save this, Wagtail says, mm, that's not allowed. It's not in the list of features in here. I'm going to strip that out. So in summary, we created three new stream fields. One was a struct block. It had a title and text in here. Both were required fields. We created a full rich text editor, inherited it directly. And we did the same thing on the third one. However, we said we only want bold italics and a link in there. We don't want the headers or lists or anything else. We just want these three. 
we've created a new app called Streams. And in here, we've created three new classes called Title and Text Block, Rich Text Block, and Simple Rich Text Block. And we've edited the features that are available here. And in fact, two of those streams are actually using the exact same template file. So we don't actually even need to do that much coding. In fact, we don't have to do any coding. All we have to do is style our original text block the way that we want, which I'm going to do behind the scenes. And the simple rich text block is going to look the exact same, but it's going to be limited to just bold, italic, and link. We also learned what the icon and label does. And this was an introduction into stream fields. Now, there are a lot of other stream fields. It's not just char block and text block. There are page chooser blocks, image chooser blocks. There's document choosers. And those are probably stream fields that we're going to get into in the future. But if you're brand new to the idea of stream fields, this is very, very, very simple. You can basically reference the docs at any point in time and now make sense of what is going on. There's also one more complex type that I would like to get into eventually down the road. Maybe in the next video or the next couple of videos. Uh, it's called a list block and that allows us to have more than one block nested inside of itself so that people can keep adding things. And that's really good for like a gallery. So if someone wanted to add an image gallery, they could add unlimited images. And Wagtail will handle the image upload and the cropping and everything for you. It is a beautiful thing. So that is it for this lesson. As always, if you like it, you can share it. You could put a ring on it. You could give it a thumbs up. Maybe don't put a ring on it because that would be weird trying to marry a video. And the dry sense of humor today is provided by myself, Caleb Tallinn. I am the video author, uh, and I am an author on learnwagtail.com, where you can learn more about Wagtail. And lastly, at any point in time, if you're ever confused or you need more reference, hit up docs.wagtail.io because they have some seriously great docs on there, and it will really get you started. And if that is not enough, you can always hit up their GitHub because guess what? This whole thing is open source, and it is beautiful.